think one of the things that I that I did as a mentor was toward the end of my career and thinking about retirement, um, I developed a code study program to help newer inspectors become certified through the ICC codes. I found when I went through the code process myself and, and learning, you know, to take the, the test and everything that um, it was really kind of difficult and, and not having nobody there to share their experience or to um, help me with a study program. Um, I decided to, you know, go ahead and develop the study program myself and then mentor younger folks because, you know, as you're leaving your career, you want to have, in my opinion, maybe a legacy to leave behind because as, as far as these folks go in their career, they're always going to say, you know, I, I had a guy who helped me get certified. I'm hoping there are people that can uh, mentor them into, you know, a, a healthy inspector role. You know, we, we just had a class on soft skills and soft skills is nothing that can be taught. It's something that, you, you know, you, you have to experience for yourself. You have to learn when to say something or how to say something. So I, I think the, the newer generation um, is more tech savvy. They're more computer literate than, than folks of my generation. Our best practices in Indiana, we're trying to do a training class a month and we pick different topics and, and we try to keep people involved in the association. You know, I've always believed that you get as much out of your association as you yourself are willing to put into it. And if you're not willing to go to training classes or participate in the process, then um, I'm not sure what your involvement's ever gonna be.